Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20 and welcome to episode 16 of Direwolf20's Let's Play. Uh, as you can see, I'm just starting out here in my EMC room, uh, taking care of some equivalent exchange stuff. Some diamonds were getting produced for me, but for the time being, I think I want to let my Mark II Relay here build up all the energy it can. Um, basically, I'm going to let this collector, the Mark II Collector, build up the energy in the Mark II Relay, and I'll keep charging up my Klein Star whenever I get the opportunity. Um, and then from there, I'll probably wind up, you know, using it to get whatever I need. So I think that's probably the best bet right now. Um, so my condenser will sit there for the moment, not being used, but don't worry, I'm sure I'll have some uses for it in the future. Uh, today's episode, I think I want to get started with logistics pipes. I definitely feel like that's a good route to start off with today. Um, I need to decide where I want to have my logistics room. I basically want to have a big room full of auto crafting tables and all kinds of other crazy logistical type stuff. Um, and then I can start building uh, a logistics area to make cool things. And besides that, I also need to get some, um, probably some provider pipes on the back of all these chests back here. So I'll probably even start off by uh, just clearing out this big old area. That's probably going to be good. So that's probably where I'm going to start off today. Again, have a lot of work to do and uh, not that much time to do it in. So without further ado, let's get started. And you know, just thinking this through, it appears like this might be a perfect little area to build my auto crafting area. I think the section that I cleared out in one of my previous episodes, I don't even remember which one it was by now, might be the perfect spot. So maybe I should get working on a new build craft item to help me build um, what I'm going to have to have over there. So give me a few minutes and I'll be right back. All right, well, I was considering doing this whole new thing with regards to, uh, you know, the whatchamacallits and stuff, um, but I decided to hold off. I'm going to use that nifty new item I was considering using uh, probably in a future episode. For now, I'm just going to build this the old-fashioned way with the filler. So let's see, what do we got here? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right to here, huh? All right, I guess a 9x9 nine nine will probably be good to start for my auto crafting room. And in the future, who knows, maybe it'll become something a little bit crazier. But for now, at least this is a good starting point. So I'm going to place that guy down there with that thing like that. And I'll place some cobble in there. Obviously not enough just yet. But uh, let's see if I can sneak some cobble out of the back of these chests. Uh, let's see, this should be my cobble chest. That should hopefully be enough. And uh, place these guys in here. But I have to move all this junk down, don't I? I'll get that straightened out in a minute. And where's my miscellaneous junk chest? I think that one's right here. There we go. And I'll just get this room built awfully quick. That should probably be more than enough cobble, don't you think? I would hope so. All right. And with some power applied, we should be in good shape. probably keep one bit of cobble for me. Frequency one, receiving true, and there goes my house. I'll be back when it's done. Ah, darn, I forgot about the flooring again. All right, fix that little mistake of mine, and I'll start building my house now, and I'll be back again when it's done. All right, I think this thing's almost done here. There we go. Just flicked over to red, so I'll collect all these goodies back. Collect all this stuff back. And hey, that's not smooth stone, is it? And now I can break right through this walling right here. Not bad looking. All right. I'm going to do my skylight thing and then I'll be back. And this will be a good starting room, but I might wind up needing to increase the size of this thing. I think I have a little bit of a different design in mind for how I want to set up my auto crafting room uh, for all my logistical pipe stuff. So I'll be back once it's ready. All right, looking much better now, isn't it? Very clean and nice and neat. So let's go build some automatic crafting tables. I'm probably just going to need a few of these guys for now, at least to start. Let's make sure I have enough wood on me. I believe I had a bunch of wood stored in my alchemy bag. Isn't that true? All right, I thought I did. Maybe I used it all. Probably did. All right, then I will have to collect some wood soon, but I will need some automatic crafting tables. But I think the first thing I should build here is uh, some logistics pipes. And in order to build logistics pipes, I'm going to need some gold and some iron. And probably a good amount of redstone. And I think I've got the glass I need, but we'll find out pretty soon. Let's look up the logistics pipes recipes. 
the basic logistics pipes, and I better turn this back to recipe mode. Uh, I wasn't cheating, I swear. I was off in my test world testing some builds. Uh, basic logistics pipe. Uh, so I'm going to need a diamond transport pipe. Okay, I forgot about that component. Some glass, some redstone, and some gold gears. And anybody who hasn't had the um, opportunity to see what logistics pipes can do yet, believe me, you're in for a treat. These things are a lot of fun. Uh, so let's get craft in here, shall we? I'm um, going to get probably going to need... I'm going to go with that. Okay. I wanted four gears here, and that's a good start. Convert those to stone gears, and this is hopefully going to be the one of the last times you guys have to see me do this. Because this logistics pipes network is going to start helping me to get this kind of thing done automatically. So we'll put two of those guys in, but let's not forget I'm going to need four redstone torches. Split up like so. This guy here. And then some glass in the corner. It's going to need some more glass soon. But I just made myself two sets of logistics pipes. Awesome. Um, next up, I'm going to have to get some provider pipes. Um, now, the way logistics pipes work are, unlike normal build craft pipes, which just kind of blindly push items through them, uh, logistics pipes are a little bit more intelligent about the way they sort and arrange items. And a provider pipe is a special kind of logistics pipe that is intelligently aware of the inventory it's attached to, and it can provide items from that inventory. So, simply put, if I attach a provider pipe to this chest, the provider pipe is going to be aware of everything in the chest and can provide things to the network. And let's see, I've got three, four, five, six, seven, eight chests. And a provider pipe is a simple basic logistics pipe with glowstone dust on top. So let's go get some uh, glow, glowstone here. Oh boy. Starting to trip over my words already. And it's only about five minutes into the episode. Boy, oh boy. So the provider logistics pipes will now go right outside this room. Right along here. And it's a pretty simple setup. Just place them like so. And now they're all part of the same logistics network because they're all connected to each other. And even though it's giving the impression that these pneumatic tubes are touching these logistics pipes, don't worry about it. They won't actually interfere. And if I really wanted to be nice and smooth about this, I should probably put some covers on. I think I've got some. All right, not nearly enough. So let's get um, a couple uh, stone covers. There we go. And place this guy back in here for now. And then just to make sure everything's nice and neat and smooth looking, we'll just cover this stuff up. I don't think I wanted to put that thing wherever I just put it. I don't know where I just put it. Ah, oh, there it was. Probably don't want that there. Uh, so what I can do is just place this here, and I'll go get those things later, maybe, if I remember. Much better. Just for aesthetic purposes, right? All right. So now I've got those provider pipes all set up, providing out of these chests. Perfect. Um, next, we're going to want to get whatever we're providing into this room over here. And that'll probably want to come in right through this wall. And uh, I'm not sure exactly how I want this to work just yet. I haven't exactly decided on the layout of this room. But why don't I think about it for a few minutes here, and I'll be back. All right, guys, so here's the layout I want to have in this room, at least for now. And like I said, I might need to extend it in the future. But for now, I'm going to line up my... Uh, crafting tables along there and I'm gonna lay out I guess my logistics pipes around here like that so I'll kinda of have like a big set of logistics pipes along this wall and then what I might also do is set up some more auto crafting tables in the future along this wall and the logistics pipes in front of them and that should work out pretty well for us I think so for now what I'm gonna do is just clean up this mess that I made while demonstrating what I want to do and uh, actually start building the things required to do it and in order to do that, I'm going to need a few automatic crafting tables. And I already have a good idea in my head of what I want to automatically craft first. But as I mentioned a moment ago, I think it's about time I go get some more wood. So why don't I go, uh, you know what I could do if I really wanted to? Let's maybe throw my Klein Star in there with wood as the target. That might be a good idea. Or you know what I could even do better? 
Can I target? I don't think I ever taught it about. Yeah. Wood, wood. All right. So let me get some uh, Klein Star goodness out of here, and I'll be right back. All right. I think two stacks of wood ought to be good for now, um, plus a little extra. So let's get to crafting. Uh, I'm obviously going to need some automatic crafting tables. Let's go with five of them for now. And uh, with five automatic crafting tables, I'm going to need about 20 of these, um, whatchamacallit thingies, wooden gears. That's right. I got there eventually. All right, 20 wooden gears. And you just surround your automatic crafting table with wooden gears. And I've got five of these cool things now. So let's get to placing them down. Like I said, I'm going to place them right here along this wall. Um, I guess first maybe... Oh, cool. Are they upside down now if I place them like that? That's interesting. Or do they just have the same texture on the bottom? I didn't think they did. Maybe I just want to do it like that. Probably good. Cool. Um, and then I'm going to run my tubing straight up into here, or my pipes, that is. And I think the first set of things I want to teach this thing to craft, uh, first off, I should teach it how to craft sticks. And then I'm going to teach it also how to craft wooden gears. This guy is going to have to learn how to craft from a wooden gear up to a stone gear. And this guy here, can we learn him how to teach something or other? There we go. Wooden up to stone up to iron. Looks good. This guy will have to be gold. So I'm pretty much teaching it about the different gears available. And I think for now, I don't want to teach it diamond just yet. I don't quite have the diamond resources to uh, go ahead and teach it diamond gears just at the moment. So for now, gold is probably as high as I'll go. And I'll probably even play a little space holder there because I'll eventually teach that guy how to craft that thing. And uh, you know what? Maybe we should teach it a little bit more. Um, should teach it how to convert wood, but I don't have any wood on hand just yet. So that's not a big deal. But uh, I will craft a couple more auto crafting tables. So let's see. There we go. Okay. Um, and I'll just place these guys right here for now. Um, not going to have them just quite yet ready, but I'll use them in a minute. So the next thing we need to do is get some piping, some build craft pipes, and I'll just use some basic stone pipes here. And stone and cobblestone pipes are the same functionally in build craft, except for the fact that they won't connect with each other, uh, which is an interesting thing to note because um, if you want to have a nice compact system, you don't have to worry about these things not connecting. Um, or you don't have to worry about them connecting if you're using them. So that is pretty much how we're going to connect straight into our crafting system like so. Next up, we need some crafting pipes. So we've got the crafting logistics pipe right here. Glowstone dust on either side of a basic logistics pipe. So I'm going to need some more glowstone dust. Um, but I think before I do that, why don't I come over here and decide how I want to lay out a requester system. So give me a minute to think this over. All right, guys, I thought about this for a few minutes and I decided, all right, what better place to uh, place down something than right here? If this is going to be my input chest, then this will be my output area. Um, now this guy, I'm going to go ahead and use frequency two. So item teleport frequency two will be the output of auto sorter. At least uh, the first one of many, I hope. Uh, and I'm going to set receiving to be true here. And the next thing I'm going to place down right here is just one logistics pipe 
okay? And this guy will go right here like that. Now, a logistics pipe all by itself can act as an item to retrieve items out of a uh, system. And all I have to do right now is connect another item teleport pipe, probably like right around here. I don't want to affect this thing at all. So I'm just going to place this guy right here on the network. Um, and what this guy is going to do is set to frequency 2, and I'm also going to set his receiving ability to true. Um, if you want to connect logistics pipe systems, like I just did here, so this logistics pipe with this network, both teleport pipes need to be set to true. And if you don't do that, it's probably not going to work. So there's something to keep in mind. So frequency 2 on both of them and receiving true. Uh, this way I can walk over to here and interact with this logistics pipe and that's going to work with this logistics system right here. Um, so next up let's go ahead and take what we got. I got my Philosopher's Stone and I have, uh, what was it, one, two, three, four, five of these things to work with. So I'm going to need five crafting logistics pipes. And there you go, crafting logistics pipes. Cool little toys, believe me. And I'm just going to place them all along here like so. And you'll note that the interaction, the, uh, the connections between each pipe turns green. That means these guys are all talking to each other just fine. Uh, the next item I'm going to need is my wrench. And the wrench is how we interact with a crafting logistics pipe. Now remember, this bottom left chest here, for example, let's see if I can get to it. It's somewhere here. I just got to find my way around these bounding boxes. All right, this will be close enough. Uh, so this was four sticks equals a wooden gear. Okay, so if I take my wrench and open up this crafting logistics pipe, it looks like a pretty complicated system, but it's really not. All you have to do is tell the crafting logistics pipe what the input items are and what the expected output is. And if you hit this import button right here, it's going to automatically detect what's in the crafting table. So it automatically knows that four sticks becomes a wooden gear. Don't worry about this satellite thing just yet. Eventually I'll get around to using it if I need to. Now I'm telling it that two wooden planks equals four sticks. Uh, this guy learns that four cobblestone and a wooden gear becomes a stone gear. Same with the iron gear. And finally with the gold gears. So let's go give this guy a nice little try. Uh, however, in order for me to really get ramped up with this, I'm going to need to build a requester tool. And a requester tool is a specific... Uh, what's it called? Nope. Let's see if I can find it in here real quick. Hey, there we go. I found it. It's the remote orderer. I'm going to need two diamond gears. Oh boy, expensive. And uh, four pieces of glass. But don't worry, you're only ever going to have to request the, or uh, build this guy once. So I might as well build uh, those two diamond gears right now. And I'm going to do those off camera because it takes a moment to build them. So there we go. Two diamond gears. Oh boy, expensive. And there goes the last of my diamonds too. But there I've got a remote orderer. Now the way the remote orderer works is you can walk up to any logistics pipe in a system and remotely request items that are available throughout the system. And uh, right now this logistics system is aware of all these chests. So I've got all this crazy stuff in here, right? And why don't I put some items away uh, just to hang on to. So I'm just going to tidy up my network a little bit. So I've got these, uh, uh, that's my red power chest. These guys going here. All right, looking pretty good so far. I'll even put these guys away. Sure, why not? And uh, I'll store this junk in here. Just cleaning up my inventory real fast. So let's real fast try and request some items. Now I'm going to place my wooden planks right here, just in that little room. And why don't we get out our portal gun too, because I want you guys to see what happens when I activate this little button here. So if I flip through on this portal gun like this, how well can I see into that room? Not bad, actually. So what I'm going to do is simply open up with my remote orderer this interface. And by right cl clicking on this logistics pipe, it's talking to that entire network, and it's going to show me everything that's in the network, both in the chests that are available and the number of items in the chests. So you can see I've got eight bricks. And if I want to request those eight bricks, it's going to happen pretty quickly. Um, you can see it spitting the bricks out on the ground for me. Perfect. Uh, what happened is it pulled the bricks out of the chest that were over here. I think I had them in uh, my build craft chest this time. So you can see that's where they came from. 
awesome. And it sent them through that teleport pipe right over to this requesting tool. Uh, next up, I could request, let's say, two gold gears. Remember, I don't have any gold gears. That's why it's telling me there's zero currently in my system. But if I request two of them, it's going to pull out all the required items that it needs. So let's get ready to step through this portal and watch all the cool stuff happen. All right. So I'm simply going to say gold gear two, please. Thank you. And look at all the items flowing into the chests. Um, you can see the stone gears got crafted, the iron gears, and then the gold gears. And they're both all sent back out into this room over here and thrown on the floor for me ready to be picked up. So though that's the beginning of my auto sorting system and auto crafting room. Um, basically, I'm going to be expanding this in the future so that any materials I need to build a lot of I'm probably going to do automatic crafting tables pretty soon, uh, but any items I need to do a lot of, I can simply come over here and build an automatic crafting table for, and I can automatically craft them using logistics pipes. Amazing these logistics pipes are. I really enjoy them. And there's some other cool stuff coming up soon with logistics pipes too, so stay tuned for that. But for now, I think I've got a pretty solid system, so I think it's time to move on to something else. What am I low on? Oh, that's right. Wood. I am awfully low on wood. Why don't we get ready to do something about that? So I think it's about time for me to build a nice little tree farm, courtesy of forestry. Uh, there's a few things I'm going to have to do to prepare for this tree farm, but let's at least get the groundwork laid out. Uh, first off, I'm going to need to build an arboretum. And this is the item that's used to uh, plant automatic tree farms. And for that, I'm going to need some more of these uh, brass ingots, I believe. So I'm going to grab, uh, hmm, I don't know. Handful of you. Might even grab half a stack. And then, uh, yeah, that might be good. Maybe. We'll see. Uh, so let's craft it up real quick. I don't think I even need that guy. Let's go with 16 of these and 16 of these. All right, 64, that should be enough for now. I'll put my copper and tin back where they belong. And with my brass ingots, I'm going to start crafting a few things here. I'm going to need uh, at least four gold. And I'm also going to need some diamond for this. Unfortunately, you guys just saw me use some of my last diamonds, so let's go see how my antimatter relay is doing. It's built up a good amount of EMC, and I can charge all that EMC directly into my Klein Star. And the Klein Star can now be used in a moment to get myself a few more diamonds, courtesy of my transmutation table. Uh, I can just drop that Klein Star in there and collect a few diamonds real fast. So let's check that out. One, two, three, four. All right, just enough. Klein Star has barely got any energy left in it, so let's drop it in there to be charged while I go off and build some stuff. Um, now I'm going to need two of those sturdy machines that I introduced you to when I started beekeeping. Those are these guys right here. And if I take some of these, and oh, I need some glass. Goodness. Let's get half a stack of glass. Usually have that on me. And uh, put some gold in the corners and some glass around it you're going to come up with your first item in forestry called the Arboretum. And this guy is going to basically grow trees for you. It works pretty well, and uh, that's all I can say about it. It works well. It's awesome. I love the Arboretum. And uh, the next item I'm going to build here is, again, one of these sturdy machines and diamond in the corners and glass on the sides. And that's going to get us our logger. And where the Arboretum grows trees, the logger will chop them down. Sweet. So let's get to crafting. Um, I'm going to leave my Klein Star. Well, I'll pick it up. Let the MC build up in the uh, AMR for now. So let's go find a good spot to go ahead and start doing some uh, forestry. And since I already picked out a pretty nice spot for some uh, apiaries, right here as a matter of fact, and maybe since I'm here I can go collect my uh, princesses and drones. So let's put that guy in there. This princess here, and let's see if I get any luck with these drones and whatnot. I got a forest queen. All right, nothing too fancy or exciting. And a forest meadows queen. Oh well, one of these days I'll get a little bit more lucky. And let's figure out what I want to do with this area. Uh, I have my chainsaw on me, right? Let's cut ourselves out of this room. Um, if this is going to be my portal into this area, I should probably build something like right about here. Does that look like a nice spot? Eight on this side, nine on this side. Ah, I didn't make this room odd numbered, but oh well, I'll live. 
So let's just go with right here. That looks good. Now, where do I want to build this lovely tree farm? I'm going to leave that beehive back there for a minute. What do you got there? Cows and stuff? Sweet. I should probably build a nice little door there at some point. Maybe do it now real fast. I'm thinking this area right out here is a nice spot to build a tree farm. And maybe a few other farms in the future. Nice. While I'm at it, I might as well do my usual with the uh, stone pressure plates. Perfect. All right. So maybe I should clear out this dirt area here and just flatten out this terrain. I'll be back after I've done that. Thanks to my handy destruction catalyst, which is now, by the way, being powered by my Kleinstar. I don't know if you noticed that or not. My Eternalist fuel shouldn't get used up in my inventory. I'll be back in a minute. Not a bad spot for a tree farm. Um, I could probably have cleaned this up a little bit neater. If I want to bring this down one more layer, yeah, I'm thinking I might probably want to do that. All right, so we've got a nice little farm set up here. Uh, what I'm going to place down is my Arboretum first. And uh, I'm going to try just placing it right about here. This looks like a nice spot for an Arboretum to go. Sweet. Now you'll notice the Arboretum requires a couple different items. Uh, first off, it needs some saplings, which is going to be an important part of growing trees, I would think. The next is this item that I can't pronounce. Humus? Hummus? Humus. I think it's humus. Um, why don't we run around for a few minutes here and just make sure I've got some regular old tree saplings. I know I've got some, uh, uh, you know, good ones from uh, those big, tall, wonky looking trees, but I like these trees the most. Hey, I got an apple. Awesome. That's nice. I think it's the first apple I've ever gotten in Minecraft. Yeah, seriously. There we go. That'll do. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and transmute my way into a few more of these saplings and I'll be back. Now unfortunately one of the things I'm gonna have to be prepared for ahead of time is a few more diamonds. So let's see how am I for diamonds in my client star? Not quite many of them. So I'm gonna need a few more of those courtesy of some gold bars here. Oh boy. Getting even low on gold, huh? Let's bring some iron along too. And let's see, I should be able to transmute my way into five of these guys, right? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. I really need to go mining and get myself some more diamonds. Equivalent exchange is definitely a lot more balanced now, in case you guys didn't notice. Uh, quite a lot harder to get your hands on some diamonds. Uh, so I'm going to grab out of that build craft chest. Remember I crafted two golden gears earlier? Well, I wasn't just doing that for fun better charge that guy down a bit. Uh, let's go ahead and turn those into some more diamond gears and make ourselves another set of teleport pipes. And that's how I'm going to get items back and forth between this area and whatnot. Um, the next thing I should probably do is... Hmm, how do I want to set this up? I'm going to need some pipes, so let's grab our Buildcraft pipes here. I'll get these stone pipes. I'm probably going to need some iron pipes as well. I'm going to grab the basic logistics pipes that I have. Also going to need some power to come into this thing. And uh, I think for now that's probably good. Like I said, going to need some iron pipes. And the recipe you guys should be familiar with by now. Nice and simple. And uh, why don't I go get everything I need to get ready, and I'll be right back. All right, now I need to make two more crafting systems here. So I've got my basic logistics pipes, and I'm going to convert those two into some crafting logistics pipes. And remember, I think I left two automatic crafting tables available over here. So let's craft up a new set of items. Uh, first off, I'm going to combine appetite here with, uh, I could have sworn I grabbed two pieces of sand. I guess I didn't. Well, that's all right. I've got some dirt that'll handle me some sand. Swore I grabbed it. I, I do, I swear. Um, combine those guys like so, and you get fertilizer. So sand plus that appetite stuff equals fertilizer. That's going to be important to keep your mind on. Uh, fertilizer can be used for a couple things, but most importantly, its main purpose, at least for this point in the game, is producing that humus stuff. Um, so if I take that fertilizer, one piece of it, and... Uh, oh boy. 
I grabbed eight pieces of dirt for a reason, and then I just transmuted half of it away. Much better. Uh, we're going to surround it with dirt, and that's going to get us the humus that we need. So let's see here. Ta-da! Humus. Perfect. Now there's one thing that we didn't prepare for in this awesome system of logistics pipes. Um, a default route. So what's going to happen is basically if you have some items and they don't really have a place to go, if you request, let's say, um, I don't know, three sticks and the system knows how to make four sticks, what's it going to do with that fourth one? Uh, right now, it's not going to know what to do with it and it'll get lost in the system. But for a moment, I'm just going to go ahead and craft at least a basic chest. Um, and that's going to be my overflow. And I'm going to place that guy way down here at the end of the room, I think. That might be good. And for the time being, I'm going to go ahead and run these guys like so. Now I need another logistics pipe, so why don't I go ahead and grab my requester tool and ask for a pair of golden... whatchamacallits gears. Two of those, please. And I'm going to request one diamond pipe while I'm at it. Um, do I have any redstone torches in here? If I do, perfect. I've got two. So that'll be good. And you can see the stuff being spit out at me at the moment. And I've got some glass, so that's good. So all I need to do is place my redstone torches there. My golden, my diamond thingy here. And where's those golden things? Come on, dude. Did I not have the items for it? Ah, missing four wooden planks. Ha ha ha. One, two, three, four. I haven't supplied the system with wood yet, and so it's telling me I don't have enough items to make what you want, Direwolf. What are you bothering me for? Request? Hey, sweet. Request successful. There should be a bunch of stuff flowing around right now. You can kind of see it through the crack on the floor there. And some golden stuff should be flying out in this direction soon. There they go. One. Two. Excellent. Much better. Craft these guys like so. And like I said, I need a few more of these logistics pipes. And maybe eventually I'll teach this thing how to build logistics pipes all by itself. And I need my wrench too. So let's get that guy ready. So I'm going to place this thing right here on the end of the chest. And with my wrench, I'm going to indicate that this is the default route. Now, basic logistics pipes like this can sort items by themselves. So if you wanted to, you could tell it that wooden planks go in this chest, and any wooden planks entering the system would find their way into here if they didn't have a place to go. But for now, I'm going to tell it that this is the default route, meaning any item that doesn't have a specific place to go will wind up in this chest. And that's going to work out pretty well for me. Um, what I'm going to do next is place down my crafting logistics pipes right about here. One and two. And tell them to import. So two sand and appetite, and import this, dirt and fertilizer. So now let's see what happens if I request one piece of hummus, or humus, or however you pronounce that stuff. I'm going to stick to a name and uh, we'll be in good shape. So let's request two for now off that pipe. You'll see it's getting all the items it needs. There we go, got the fertilizer, got the humus. And the humus is gonna land in that chest first, but then those extra items that it didn't quite know what to do with are gonna go right here, uh, humus and fertilizer, perfect. And uh, next, what I'm gonna do is drill into the ground here. And remember that provider pipe? Uh, so let's see, let's request ourselves a piece of glowstone dust while I'm in here, one please. And note that when you request an item that's attached to a chest, it's gonna automatically land in that chest. So let's place our thing here and here, and that's a provider pipe, right? Uh, what I'm going to do is place the provider pipe right on the bottom here. So there we go. And the provider pipe can now provide items out of this chest. How cool is that? And I can put my stone transport right here to make sure these things connect, and all the green lines indicate everything's working properly. And now what I can do when I want to request a couple more pieces of hummus, for example, or humus, or however you want to pronounce that stuff, I'm going to go ahead over here and request, oh, I don't know. I need a spot to request it from, but 
basically if I were to request a few pieces of humus now, it's going to come out of that chest that I just created. So let's request three of them, or four. See how it has six available to me? And my request four is just going to come straight out of that chest. There they go. And through there. Perfect. Excellent. And if I were to now request over here eight pieces of humus, let's see what happens. What do you think? It should, if I did everything right, pull that thing out of there and craft up the humus. Now you might have noticed that because I'm providing out of this chest right here, um, it did pull those two pieces of humus right out of here, but the other six it got with the fertilizer. But typically I wouldn't be requesting them to land right here. Uh, Normally, they'd, the two pieces would shoot out, and the other ones would be crafted. So I did have one more diamond sitting around in here, and I think it's a good time for me to build another chest. So let's get our covalence dust stuff. Excellent. And I have an idea, too, this time when I build my chest. Do I have everything I need so far? Almost. What's uh, excess in my inventory at the moment? I'll just throw this fertilizer stuff in here for now. I'm going to grab two iron ingots. And let's craft for ourselves with our Philosopher's Stone another one of those alchemical chests that we oh so love. There we go. Is that it? No, I think it's something like this. And then uh, some smooth and this stuff. There we go. Alchemical chest. And before I place that down on the ground, I'm going to go teach my transmutation table about alchemical chests. Ah, they're worth 8,987 EMC. Perfect. Um, note now that I can place my Klein Star in here, especially if it has enough fuel. Dun 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 dun. And automatically get out an alchemical chest. Ha! <laughs> How cool is that? I think I can even burn it, can I? Oh yeah, look at that. I think I just turned it into a bunch of EMC. So pretty spiffy. Gotta love that. Alright guys, so I'm going to place down my alchemical chest, which I just made, right here. And I'm going to clear out this glass also. Um, now I need another dye color. So why don't I go figure out a good color to use and make myself another one of those tin plate can thingies. I think I've got some tin in my alchemical bag here, don't I? Tin plates somewhere? I thought I had some crafted. I guess I only got one. Did I place them over here, maybe? I know I crafted some more of these things. Oh well, I'll track them down and I'll be back in a few minutes once I've figured out what color to use for this next chest. And since this is going to be dedicated to forestry, why don't we make it green? Now, uh, as you guys know, I've already used green. Um, did I also use lime? Really? I didn't think I used lime already. What am I using lime on? I'm using dark green, aren't I? Alright, uh, let's see... Do I have a lime paintbrush? I do not. Ha! I didn't use lime yet. At least not on paintbrush colors. Uh, so let's grab our lime dye here and uh, grab a piece of wool real quick. Boy, my inventory is starting to become a mess again, as usual. And uh, let's see, if I combine this paint can with some flax seeds and the lime dye, that'll get me lime paint. And a stick with wool, paintbrush, lime paint, good to go. And uh, I can then deposit into my red power chest the lime paint. And I should have some pneumatic tubes right here. I'm just going to need one. Nice and simple. And I'm just going to place them right here like that. And then I'm going to use my lime paintbrush to adjust the colors. Ta-da! So now we've got a lime output. And lime for forestry. There you go, Sengir. And, uh... Looking good. I should probably place down one of those nice things that make stuff look nice. Uh, do I have any in my bag here? I do. Much better. And then a piece of glass to seal the floor back up. Alright, spiffy. Uh, this is going to be my forestry chest, and I would label that if I had enough wood, but I obviously do not. Um, let's go over here and tell the forestry chest that lime is where we're going to send, uh, if I can find it, the light green stuff. 
There we go, light green, I guess, that's it. Uh, that's where I'm going to send saplings, and I'm going to have to send some wood down there, but I just don't have any wood to send just yet. I'll go pick some up outside. There's probably going to be a few more things that get added in the future, but at least for now, we can rest assured that if a sapling lands in here, let's see, it should filter its way straight over to that chest. Perfect. So I'll label that in a little bit. Maybe in between episodes, because this episode is getting a little bit long. So I'm going to run back out to my uh, apiary, get this uh, forestry system set up, and then wrap up. So let's head over to here, and let's get started with stuff. Um, so first off, I'm going to go ahead and hook this guy up to some power. And for now, I'm going to use a standard one of these little pipes. But uh, maybe in the future I'll upgrade this, or maybe now, well, I'll do it in the future. For now I'm just going to use a standard power teleport pipe. Set it to frequency 1, but I'm not going to set it to receiving true just yet. Um, I do need to get some humus in there. And uh, the best way to get humus at the moment probably would be, and oh look, it's getting dark. Why don't I go sleep through the night and I'll be right back. Alright, sleeping through the night. I'm going to go place down another teleport pipe off this system real quick. Uh, just right here, I'm going to place this guy like so. And this teleport pipe will be connected over frequency 3. And uh, can receive true, remember, you need that on both sides. And that's going to be my forestry teleport pipe. And that's going to supply my farm for me using logistics pipes. Because there's a new type of logistics pipe that I'm going to show you, at least new to this series. Um, and I'm going to craft it as soon as I get back out there. Again, can't wait to get my quantum leggings and boots. So this new pipe that I was just telling you about is crafted like so. Uh, basic logistics pipe surrounded by lapis. And that's going to give you the supplier logistics pipe. And what this guy does is actually really pretty cool. If I plant down my supplier pipe and then a teleport pipe right here like so, I'm going to set this guy to frequency 3 again, receiving true. Now we've got the green line on this side indicating that everything's good. I'm going to grab my wrench and open this guy up. And what this thing does, it will automatically keep this machine stocked with whatever I tell it to do. Um, so let's turn on the power real quick. Again, receive true. That's going to automatically clear out the land around here and start planting down the humus. Sweet. Uh, now it's out of this stuff, so I need to get some more. So let's actually grab one piece of it and open up this interface. And you can simply right click in here to add and left click to subtract and shift right click to uh, add a bunch. But uh, that doesn't work if you're using convenient inventory right now. So I'll be back after I've clicked through a stack of this. All right, I think half a stack is a good amount to keep stocked right here. Now, as soon as I close this interface, back at my main base, you're going to have to take my word for this, but this supplier pipe is telling that logistics pipe network, hey, I need some humus, 32 of them to be exact, and uh, that humus is going to start getting planted. And why don't I go put this thing back? It'll probably automatically replant itself if I give it enough time, but for now, I'll let it go. Sweet. And my tree farm is a building. And you'll note that as soon as it starts running low on humus, it's going to send another request back to my main logistics pipe network saying, hey, I've run out, send me some more. And uh, it'll send the amount that it needs, and then ask for a bit more and a bit more ad nauseum. So it looks like it's doing a good job of keeping the thing stocked up. And if we were to head back to our base real quick while this is all running, we should get there in time to see a bunch of cool stuff happening behind the scenes of my sorting room. So let's just run right over here and see what's happening. You should see lots of dirt and fertilizer and all that cool stuff being sent through the systems. Uh, pretty much saying, hey, I need a whole bunch of humus. Hopefully I got here in time to see all this cool stuff. Yep, so there comes some dirt and some fertilizer. And the sand required, and it's sending all the humus back. So it's basically going to keep producing it until it has 32 in the system as requested by the supplier pipe. So what will happen is as soon as that tree farm is done being planted, it's not going to be using humus anymore. It'll keep 32 in the pipes and uh, it'll no longer be requesting anymore. And it looks like we've pretty much gotten to that point. Sweet. And as you can see, 32. Now I'm going to put my saplings in here. And the power is going to be used from the Buildcraft stuff to plant those saplings. 
pretty nice. And I feel like this is probably a good spot to wrap up. Uh, episode starting to run a little bit long as it is. So this has been episode 16 of Direwolf 20's Let's Play. When I come back in episode 17, I'm going to finish up this tree farm and start setting up the uh, components required, specifically the logger, to automatically chop down these trees and send the wood and saplings back to my base. And then that wood can be used for all kinds of cool stuff. And the saplings can be used for even more. Believe it or not, you can actually use saplings for more than just getting wood. So uh, this is Direwolf 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed episode 16. Take it easy.